Chad John, my fellow friends, mayors, Ivy from uh, San Antonio and all the others, uh, and for those who are still on jet lag because we represent 47 countries, welcome to Mo Montreal. Bienvenue à Montréal. Cities matters. Get used to it. Ban Ki-moon used to say that uh, if you want to make things happen, ask a mayor. It's not for nothing. C'est pas pour rien. C'est que les villes euh, représentent euh, le gouvernement de proximité qui nous permet de réagir immédiatement. But that doesn't mean that we're on our own. And I'm, I'm delighted to see my good friend Jacques Daou, the Minister of Transport, because it's all about partnership. And in Quebec, we have a wonderful relationship and partnership with the government of Quebec, and together we all make a difference. And I, kudos for your... Merci pour ton leadership et ta vision. Je pense qu'il fait partie de la solution. Et quand on travaille tous ensemble pour la même cause, je pense que c'est comme ça qu'on devient efficace et qu'on peut vraiment assumer les réalités du 21e siècle. So, thank you very much, Jacques. I'm uh, also the president of Metropolis. Metropolis is an international organization for all the cities over 1 million inhabitants. We have about 138 members. Uh, we want more, like I heard San Antonio is getting in now, thanks. Uh, it's kind of a formidable war room, a caucus among ourselves to face and address all together the challenges from an economic perspective, a social development perspective, and uh, sustainable development too. As you notice, since COP21, you know, COP20 in Copenhagen, it was great. But I think for mayors, we only had something like a tent and uh, four or five, you know, mayors. We were 800 in uh, Paris. Et grâce au leadership, Danny Hidalgo et Michael Bloomberg, on a fait la différence. Et c'est comme ça qu'on doit travailler. Parce que tout commence au niveau des villes. Comme John a dit tantôt, 70 de la population va se retrouver dans les villes à partir de 2050. Alors, on a besoin tout de suite de travailler ensemble pour faire une différence. And clearly, you know, we're all part of the solution. And that's, we have to get rid of all the silos. First of all, we have to change in the way that we manage a city. If you want to build a road, it's not to say how many cars will pass and we'll address it. It's a matter of enhancing quality of life. It's to use all the technology together and put it up in, in a global vision where, uh, first of all, we need more green space. We need to use a better way for uh, transit, public transit. It's also to make sure that even when you talk about economy, that we can speak about social economy, collective entrepreneurship or uh, circular economy. And that's exactly what Montreal is, is doing right now. Of course, uh, you don't pull the flower to make it grow faster. We need to uh, face some sacrifice. We need to work together, but we need to realize that instead of looking at the puzzle, look at the overall portrait that it will come at the end of the day. A lot of people are, and rightfully, are talking about Boston. You know, the big dig. Everybody was saying, wow, it's great. You know, it, it took 10 years and $16 billion, right? So we needed some sacrifice, and look at the result. So focus on the result instead of, you know, you know, say I can't see the forest because I have a tree in front of me. And that's how we want to work together. And I'm delighted and I'm privileged to be the mayor of Montreal, which is a wonderful place to be. C'est la joie de vivre. It's all about diversity. It's all about creativity. It is a formidable uh, international hub. It is one of the eight United Nations city. This is an Olympic city. And, uh, comme on dit par chez nous, c'est Molière qui rencontre Shakespeare. C'est euh, plus de, des représentants de plus de 120 pays. C'est des gens qui euh, ou bien viennent s'installer ici ou qui viennent travailler, mais ça devient un, une formidable plaque tournante. So it's a wonderful hub. And, and you know what? In Canada, we, we embrace multiculturalism and we think that we can be equal and different at the same time. And that's part of the strength. Montreal is uh, the city of knowledge. We have four universities. And we're all sticking together and try to uh, build those bridges and make sure that from an academic point of view, 
through the institu institutional point of view, with the government point of view, we all related and developed together a global vision. I used to be a minister in Canada. After 9-11, I was the immigration minister and citizenship. And I promoted at that time the concept of the living together. This is a balanced approach between openness and vigilance. There's three concepts in it. You need openness, you need to protect your way of life, you need vigilance, generous but not naive. Focus on the prevention, though, instead of the intervention. When we have to intervene, we're doing it, but it's like an 80-20 uh, ratio. But the balance, that's the third concept. You need a balance between those two. And uh, a year ago, I, I felt so privileged to have 23 mayors. And we all signed together a declaration, which is La Declaration de Montréal, on putting up together that agenda, and we create the International Observation Observatoire du, du Vivre Ensemble. And now there's about 30 cities who've signed it. So, my fellow mayors, I think it would be also a good thing to build up a relationship, a multilateral approach through that observatory where cities and universities are working together and we're putting up all the studies and uh, the best practice uh, exchange to make things happen. I'm delighted to be with the New City Foundation. John, thank you very much. Thanks for your leadership. And the 21st century means that we have to work together. We have to learn from each other. We have to surround ourselves with the best. True leadership is to surround yourself with people who's even better than you. You can do the job at your place. So I'm not insecure. Sorry. So let's all work, let's all work together. Uh, I, I feel uh, honored and privileged to see now New City Foundation to uh, come to live here now with his headquarters. There's 70 international organizations in Montreal. We are the second biggest consular corps in North America, 85. The first one is, is New York. So, and we believe in connectivity, we believe in connection. So our friend from San Antonio, Los Angeles, no matter where in America, in the Americas, in the world, we are working together to make together a difference. The Think Global, Act Local is not just a slogan. This is a way of life. This is the best way to enhance quality of life of our citizen. Because everything that we're doing is, on one is for one goal. To enhance quality of life of our citizen, to protect our way of life, and make sure that we all first class citizen and bring the, all the chances so that those people can flourish and can live their dreams and, uh, you know, live with their family happily and be all part of the solution. Alors, chers amis, pour moi, c'est vraiment un privilège comme maire de Montréal de vous recevoir. N'oubliez pas de dépenser, it's good for me. Don't forget to like, spend the money, too, you know, I mean, <laughs> generous but not naive. We need, you know, we need it. But uh, this is family. We're all in the same family. We all want to work together. We have a say in French saying that it's not the size of the axe, but it's the strength of the swing that matter. C'est pas la grosseur de la hache qui compte, c'est la force du swing dans le manche. Much better in French. <laughs> but you see the concept. I always finish my uh, speeches like now. <laughs> Finally, nobody's yawning, so it's good for me to stop here. Uh, tout seul, on va plus vite. Ensemble, on va plus loin. Alone, we can go faster, but together, we can go further. Thank you very much. Vive Montréal. Vive the New City Foundation. You're stuck with me now. Thank you. <laughs>